Lock it up. Ready. Hey, Scorecasters, Anon here. I want to welcome you back to Spotlight On and the second installment in our Cineperk Library series. This time around, Los Angeles-based composer George Shaw is going to be walking you through Cineperk's Pro Library. Enjoy. The Pro Library adds on more traditional auxiliary concert percussion, whereas the Cineperk Aux Library is more ethnic in nature. This selection of instruments includes those that are generally found in 20th century orchestral music. Like the other recent CineSamples libraries, it is recorded at the Sony scoring stage and mixed by veteran mixer Dennis Sands, giving excellent blend with the other CineSamples libraries, as well as control over several mic positions for each instrument. The library is 30 gigabytes of 24 patches, including drum set, mallet keyboards, celeste, and an assortment of shakers, bells, whistles, and other metal and wooden untuned percussion. The library requires contact version 4 or higher to run. What I love about these libraries is the ease of use in quickly getting the sound you want. Many of the keyboard instruments easily switch between soft and hard mallets based on velocity. There are also key switches for turning on rolled or bowed sounds. And in the case of the vibraphone, there's even a key switch for turning on the motor. In addition to regular hits, many of the percussive sounds include flams, roughs, along with rolls for which dynamics are controlled through the mod wheel. This is definitely one of the most versatile and realistic sounding percussion libraries out there. Let's go through an overview of the patches. Let's start with the drum kit. This patch is a very detailed sampling of drums, including multiple kicks, toms, snares, hats, and cymbals. It includes multiple hits, flams, roughs, rolls, rim shots, and rims for each drum, plus hi-hats that are open, closed, and half open. There's also a general MIDI version if you want a basic version that's mapped to the standard key positions on the keyboard. If you click on the mapping tab, you have several options between key switching and MIDI controller numbers for how you change dynamics, hi-hat opening, and where the stick is striking the cymbals. Of course, all this is detailed in the manual, which I have a shortcut set up to easily bring it up whenever I'm working in Cineperk. The Drum Kit Fills patch has a slew of combo hits and a few good fills, though I wish there were a few more options for fills. There's also a looped fill that you can hold down for as long as you need. This next patch includes metallic bell tree, sleigh bells, brake drum, and more cowbell than you can imagine. I should mention that a lot of the samples in this library, the basic hits are mapped to C and D. So you can easily copy and paste or transpose into different octaves to change instruments. Next is Celeste, which basically sounds amazing. Not much else I can say about it. The Crotales cover a standard two octave range at the top of your keyboard, and you can get bowed sounds by using the pedal. The Glass Marimba is a favorite patch of mine with switching between medium and hard mallets set to velocity by default. Same with the marimba, which also has rolls controlled by pedal. In the case of the vibraphone, rolls, motor, and bowed samples are controlled by key switches that must be held down at the same time as the sustain pedal. With the pedal alone, you just get the normal sustained pedal sound. Waterphone consists of a variety of bowed sounds played in varying lengths. The Waterphone water patch has additional sounds recorded with the instrument filled up with water. Octobands are a high tom-like instrument with four different pitches. These are great for cutting through thick percussion textures. 
the orchestral shakers offers five types of shakers. Now, many of the sounds in this library have a fairly consistent delay of five milliseconds to the samples, so there is a bit of air to the hits. The shakers have a particularly large delay, so I often play it in normally and quantize my performance and then manually nudge the MIDI data slightly earlier until it sounds right to my ears. You can also use the sample start knob to cut into the sample and remove the lag. Cineperk Pro retails at $299. For more information on the library and the rest of their products, visit their website at cinesamples.com. For George and myself, thanks for watching, and make sure you don't miss the third installment in our Cineperk Library series, coming soon from scorecastonline.com.